The purpose of this screen is to enter details related to the proposed price. Your part number will already be visible since you entered it on the PO Procurement Details screen. However, if you decide that you want to change the part number, you can do that here. This is helpful if you want to copy a report and change the part number, but keep the rest of the data intact. We cover that in another video, but for now, there's no need to change it. Clicking the input box for current delivery date allows you to type in a date using the month, day, year format. To eliminate the possibility of formatting errors, click the calendar icon to bring up the date chooser. The date you enter in this step should refer to the midpoint of deliveries. This is used for escalation purposes in a later step. If you have only one delivery date, that's what should be entered here. The next box is unique to this method, and it's the unit of measure input. SpinLogic needs to know how the price of this item is being measured. Some examples of this are dollars per foot, dollars per pound, or dollars per line of code. Input the appropriate unit of measure. In this case, I'm going to be using dollars per foot, so I would enter the word foot. Current quantity and proposed price per unit refer to the quantity and price that were proposed by the supplier. Be sure to enter only the recurring price in price per unit. If your procurement has non-recurring, it needs to be broken out of the per unit price in the next box. The purpose of this is to ensure that the system maintains its accuracy. When you're done with this page, click Next.